It's a Tuesday and we have a couple of news items to talk about here today. And I know it's March break, so my videos are going to probably be a little more sporadic because I've got the kids here at home, but let's dive into it, shall we? First off, congratulations to Justin Ertl of the North Bay Battalion signing his NHL entry level contract. That news came out yesterday afternoon and I just wanted to touch on it because I I really enjoy Ertl's play. We got to see him on Saturday when the North Bay Battalion were in Barrie and Throughout the game, he never took a shift off. He was great on the forecheck, even on the penalty kill, really uh, attacking the puck carrier, even deep in the very cold zone. So a uh, big congratulations to Justin Ertl as he signs with the Dallas Stars. So that's now two NA or OHLers being signed by the Dallas Stars. First, it was Connor Punnett last week with the Oshawa Generals, and now Justin Ertl. And I, I think this is well-deserved. The overager has been... Uh, putting in a lot of time and effort, even uh, the North Bay Battalion, they sent out a, a message on social media just saying that his off-season workouts are paying off, and it shows. This season for Ertl, 25 goals, 41 assists, good for 66 points this season. He was originally drafted by the Stars in the third round of the 2021 NHL entry draft, and uh, the team coming around and signing him. So He's going to be a key piece for North Bay for the rest of the regular season. I know there's only about seven or eight games left for North Bay before the playoffs, but come playoff time, Ertl's the kind of guy you want to have on the ice, putting on the pressure on the forecheck, not giving much time for the opposition with the puck. So I think Ertl's a great pickup. Last year, he appeared in 20 games in the postseason. He only managed a goal and five assists, but he's going to have a more important role with this team for this postseason's run, and this is a North Bay team, one point back of the Sudbury Wolves for first in the Central Division. So there is an off chance we could see North Bay Barry again in the first round of the playoffs, and wouldn't that be something? Because uh, that series last year in the second round between the Colts and the Battalion was uh, quite the battle, and uh, it'd be fun to see uh, that rematch this year, although a little different circumstances as uh, the Barry Colts uh, – having some issues on the road on home ice though, as we saw on Saturday, they were able to beat North Bay four to two, but uh, you got to win on the road too. And uh, when you're playing against the likes of uh, Justin Ertl and company with the North Bay battalion, uh, you know, you're in uh, for a tough game. And uh, the only other news item I wanted to touch on, cause this is pretty significant. I was, uh, I first uh, heard it on the OHL podcast with Mike Farwell. And then I did a little digging, uh, there appears to be an OHL opportunity brewing in the city of, of Burlington. A presentation was made at Burlington City Council last week where a new development could see the construction of a 5,000 seat arena. The site located right next to the Aldershot GO station, which is right off the 403. So if you're from the Hamilton Burlington area, you're quite familiar uh, with that area. And uh, it's a, a blank parcel of land next to the GO station that they want to develop. The plan is to include residential towers, some commercial space, and then an entertainment district. This is something we don't really hear too often in junior hockey circles. When you look at arenas around the Ontario Hockey League, you don't have that entertainment district. It's something you usually hear at the pro level, like the NHL, because if you go to Scotiabank Arena, downtown Toronto, it's like an entertainment district because you've got the Rogers Centre down the road, you got Ripley's Aquarium, the Convention Centre, and other things that kind of uh, relate to the sports industry. So this is kind of what Burlington's looking at. And right now the mayor and city council, they seem pretty excited about this. Uh, they've also mentioned uh, the possibility of this being a home for the OHL in the future. Now you're probably wondering, okay, how is this going to work? Well, one option could be the Bulldogs. Remember they're only in Brantford for three years, plus they've got the three-year options waiting to go back to the first Ontario Centre in downtown Hamilton. And when they were looking for a place to play, Burlington was kind of on the radar as, could we build an arena here? And now you've got a developer looking to build a 5,000-seat venue. Uh, are they looking at the Bulldogs? Personally, I think the Bulldogs stay in Brantford. They have been so well-received. You now have Brantford City Council wanting to build a brand-new arena uh, which would also be a 5,000-seat venue. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be the Bulldogs. So maybe there's another team that would relocate there, but I don't know who right now. Of course, the Steelheads, they're going from Mississauga to Brampton. Uh, so the Steelheads right now are off the table. So a lot of questions, but could this be the start towards expansion? 
I know we talked about it in the live stream we did last week uh, where the question was brought up, do we see the OHL expanding? And I kind of, I think the NA, the OHL is going to follow the NHL's lead because there's more jobs open at the pro level. And for the OHL, it's a development league, so you can develop more players. Obviously, there's a lot that needs to be done in regards to how do you draft the players? Like, do you how do you have the the uh, the draft to get players on this team? So those details, I'm sure, are well down the road. But if they're building an arena like this in Burlington, um, I don't know. I'd love to see what you think on this. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Burlington is kind of an unknown. Uh, we know the city of Hamilton is a sports market. Mind you, they really want an NHL team. They kind of want, or they want AHL back. We're still waiting to find out how the whole renovations at the First Ontario Centre is going to take place. Those renovations are supposed to start this spring. They kept being pushed back. The latest is they could start as early as April or May. We'll have to wait and see. They want to have those renovations done by the end of 2025. And then we'll have an understanding of will the Bulldogs move back to Hamilton? That's the big question mark right now uh, in regards to that area. So for Burlington, uh, they do have the Burlington Cougars of the OJHL, so Tier 2. They right now play out of a pretty small venue, the Central Arena. I looked at their crowd, their attendance numbers for their playoff game they had over the weekend. 469 people. So they don't get a lot of fans at their games, but... It's also a capacity issue at the Central Arena. They're one of those uh, junior rinks where there's only seating on one side of the rink. So you might be able to at most get 1,000 people. And it's Tier 2 hockey. So uh, Tier 2 usually not as full as OHL hockey unless you're in a market like Collingwood. I know Halliburton County does really good. Uh, So there are some markets Tier 2 that do well with attendance. But for the GTA teams, you're looking at yeah, between 500, 800 fans a game. So that's what the Burlington Cougars do. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. You can't really compare it. Burlington's also more of a suburb community. Uh, so it's another situation kind of like Mississauga. But what stands out with this project to me is the fact they want to build the arena next to the GO train station. So it's a transit hub. And that was one of the, the arguments about the Paramount Fine Food Center and what's lacking is the transit connections. And I did that interview with Elliot Kerr, the owner of the Mississauga Steelheads, and he brought that up. Transit is an issue trying to get to the arena, um, which is outside of the downtown core. There's no amenities out there. But if you've got the transit, you're building an entertainment district, Burlington might be an option the OHL will consider down the road. Um, Obviously, it's going to be a few years before shovels get in the ground, and then we'll have to wait and see when's this arena going to be open. And then you also have to consider it's not far from Oakville. If you look at OHL rosters, there are a handful of players that come from Oakville. Uh, So you have to figure with those families, I think it could be attended well, although the same argument could be said about Mississauga. Why aren't the Oakville residents going to Steelheads games? So I'm just trying to figure out the market because I'm not totally familiar with Burlington. If you're from Burlington, would love to see uh, your comments, uh, your feedback, do you think it will work in the city of Burlington? Uh, obviously, if we do look at expansion, it's not going to be just one city. The OHL would likely want to have the conference in this balance. So do you look at a combination of Cornwall and Burlington? Uh, you've also got Chatham, Western New York. So I think the OHL has plenty of options to choose from. There's also Hamilton. What happens there? Uh, but uh, who knows? I think this is a fascinating uh, story that's come about out of Burlington City Council. As I mentioned earlier, council, they're excited about it. It's right at the Aldershot GO station right off the 403. So a lot of potential. Traffic there can be a bit of a bottleneck because the 403 meets the QEW. Uh, but down the road, who knows? Maybe they'll address the, the, the highway situation there as well. So those are the news items today. Wanted to touch on Justin Ertl signing with the Dallas Stars. And then a possible OHL-ready venue being built in Burlington. So let me know in the comments section down below your thoughts on either of these news topics. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you again soon.